Hey y'all and welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So today I just want to discuss um, a breakdown of what my total debt is um, and what I am actually paying back because I just realized that I never actually um, told you guys what my debt consists of. So I'm going to get into that today and do a breakdown. So I also want to let you know that I am, you know, I'm following Dave Ramsey. Um, so the snowball method, but I'm also, I guess, a mixture between the snowball and the avalanche. And the avalanche, not so much because of the, you know, the highest interest, but I have, you know, medical bills that are not accumulating um, any interest on them. So I kind of went and did my credit card and I, I guess I did my credit card in the snowball method. So I started from smallest to largest and I was able um, to pay my credit cards that way. So let's get into my total debt. All right. So my total credit card debt is $46,909. The smallest one I had was my TJ Maxx card and that one was $338. You know, we all love to do a little bit of shopping. Pier 1, $640. And I could just go to Pier 1, you guys, and get lost and just spend so much um, money there. Next card will be my Brandsmark card, and it is $921. Then I have my Macy's card. That's $967. And, of course, that just consists of mostly um, clothes um, that we get for the family there as well. And then my Amazon card is $989. So I had a take my Amazon card off file because we know we can all go on Amazon you know you just say oh this look nice or I want to get this or I need this and you might put it in your cart but once you actually have your card on file it's like you just keep paying and paying and paying and it adds up really quickly so I took it off and just add my debit card um, to it next card is my JC Penny card and that is five thousand five hundred and seventy nine dollars and that consists of a lot of stuff as far as um, decorating my home getting curtains, blinds, all those stuff when I kind of moved here um, almost four years ago and purchased my home. My Bank of America credit card. So that credit card, you guys, is like um, sentimental to me because I actually got it when I was about maybe six or seven months pregnant um, with my daughter. And when I first got that card, it was actually a secure credit card. So I had to pay $99 for it and I received $300 um, worth of credit. And I do not remember the length of time that they give you to make sure that you're paying your balance and you're using it appropriately. But after that time was up, they did mail me back that $99 and I um, had the $500 credit. And then eventually over time, they increased it to $1,000 and then I think $2,000. And it just went all the way up until it got to $5,000. But because it is still under that secure credit card, that's the highest that limit will ever go. Um, they have, you know, spoke to me numerous times about closing it and opening another account. But as I said, I guess for sentimental reasons, I just hung on to that card. And the interest rate on it is ridiculous. I think it's like 27.99% interest rate. Haverty's is my next card and it is $6,490, you guys. And that's, of course, getting furniture um, for my home. Citibank, $7,362. And to be honest, I don't even know um, some of what I spend that money on because, of course, it's something that accumulates over time. So I'll probably have to go back and look on um, the statements to see. Chase is $8,785, you guys. And, of course, as I said, I'm listing them from smallest to largest, so they just keep getting higher and higher. And then I have my Discover card, and that is $9,338. And that is my highest credit card. That brings me to a grand total of $46,909. So those were the debts that I was tackling, um, that I listed on the Snowball Method from smallest to largest. And then my other debt, I just kind of listed them separately. Things that I have to pay on, I did pay on it. Things that I didn't, I just kind of left blank. So my other debt, ooh, be ready guys, it's a list of them. So my other debt, the smallest one would include my ADT, um, and that's for the security for my home, and that is $178. And why do I have a debt with ADT? So 
So after my daughter was born, um, two weeks later, um, we end up being admitted to the hospital and she stayed there for two weeks. Um, during that time, I don't even know how, but there was um, fraudulent activities on my account, so I had to close it. And of course, you know, when you have automatic payments set up, and plus my baby was in the hospital, I, I was worried about figuring out every single bill that, you know, I need to go back and link to the new account. So that's how come I ended up with the ADT charge for $178, as well as the True Green um, for my lawn care for $174. And then the next item that I had on my list was my Georgia state tax. Um, and this was for my 2017 taxes I owed. So I owed $520.28, you guys. And let me tell you, if you owe the IRS money, try to pay as soon as possible, okay? Because interest does occur on it and the penalty that you have to pay really adds up. Next is I have Sheridan, um, healthcare and that's when my second child was born I ended up with this balance um I mean years later after I moved to Georgia and I was like why is this on my credit report so I've been trying to get to the bottom of it and apparently she was born on the 31st of August and they claim insurance didn't kick in for her until the first so as I said it's years later before I even saw that because obviously I moved and I, I don't know why but mail wasn't forwarded to my new address so that's something we had an issue with and it is on my credit report. So I I tried with the insurance company, we didn't get that far, so I just kind of left it alone and it's eventually something that I'm gonna have to pay. Next is my dental TLC and that's for $880. And I did talk about that in the previous video when me and my girls went to the dentist while I was on maternity leave and my insurance had actually just previously ended. So I do owe them a balance and I am making just a bare minimum payment that I can on those and of course, throw in the bulk of my money towards my credit card debt. T-Mobile, for our cell phones, we owe $1,091.54. Most of that is for my daughter's phone, the one that's actually recording for us right now. I think her phone was like 700 and something dollars. Um, my husband is like 200, I think that he owes on his, and mine is the least like $55. I always want the cheapest phone, the easiest way out possible. For my job i had to repay them one thousand one hundred and eleven dollars and that's because that's due to while i was on maternity leave apparently i got an extra check and so they definitely did collect that back i have my other debt which is for my husband's credit cards that are in collections and it's one thousand five hundred and fifty five dollars and then that amount that I said that I owed the IRS um, for taxes, for 2017 taxes, and that was, for, this is um, our federal now, before we're state, so this is federal, and that's $2,663. And then while I'm on maternity leave, they don't take that money, you know, they do ask you, do you want the insurance to be taken out of your check? And I'm like, no, because you're only getting like 60% of your check anyways, I'll deal with it when I go back to work. So I have $2,680 that I had to pay back um, for insurance um, that covered us while I was on maternity leave. So next debt, you guys, is for right now, I don't want to talk about it. I'll tell you guys about it later in the future. But for right now, I just have it listed as mistake, stupid mistake, actually. So for that stupid mistake, I had to try to pay a cancellation for it. So it is in the process of hopefully getting it eliminated. So I had to pay $3,399.98. And then I'm paying back the amount that I borrowed from my retirement, and that is $5,115. Then my personal loan, um, which I got from my credit union, and that is $8,450. And we're definitely making some headway on that loan because the current balance is $4,416. And then I have all my medical bills um, listed, and that was medical bills. Um, some of them belong to my mom, my kids, my husband, me. It's just everyone's medical bills um, together, and it is huge, you guys. And our total medical bills is $44,000. $605.17, you guys. I know it's so much. Oh my goodness. And then that brings me back now to the stupid mistake that I still have to be paying for, and that is for $14,847. And 
And that brings me to my biggest loan ever, and that is my student loan. So for my student loan, I have $69,181.13. And that student loan um, include, I guess, one degree that I was working on, which was criminal justice, and I never finished that degree. And then um, my nursing degree, because I did go to Barry University, we did get scholarships, but I did also take out loans in my welcome to my channel video, which will link it. I did talk about that as well when I started taking out student loans, not necessarily to pay for school so much. Um, I think at Barry University, I did need it, um, to pay because it is a private school, but I did start taking out loans prior to that and I think that's where a bulk of it um, came from as well. All right, you guys, so that is literally all of my debt um, listed. And I just wanna let you know, so if you are on this journey, um, paying off your debt, one of the most things that I want you to know is to make sure that you first sit down, look at all of your debt. Cause at first I did not include my medical cause I'm like, I'm not paying for that. So since I'm trying to get rid of everything, I'm listing out every single thing that I have to pay. And that's what brings my grand total to, I know you guys ready for it, total of $204,132.09. So if that is the total debt, that's what we're working to pay off. And of course, as I go, I will definitely let you guys know um, what I'm paying off on the way. So at least now you have a big picture of what all my debt is and what I'm working to pay off. And also, if you are starting on your debt-free journey, then some of the things I definitely just want you to take away from here. So if you're starting on your debt-free journey, just some of the things that I want you to do is just to kind of sit down, see everyone that you owe, list everything from smallest to largest, of course, try to pay the smallest one because it will help to build momentum for you um, to kind of get you excited and all fired up about paying the next thing. Also, very important, do not accumulate more debt while you are trying to pay off debt. Come up with a plan. So whether you want to follow the avalanche um, method or snowball method or you have your own method that you want to design, I think I'm probably like a, a case snowballanche method. <laughs> I'm making up stuff, but it's kind of like my own thing as well that I incorporated in it. And I think one of the great things when you are paying off debt, everyone has their own journey, their own process and what works for them. And I think you have to figure out what works best for you as well, because you might be that person that need, you know, reward along the way or, you know, extra motivation. And I kind of talk about that as well um, in my other video um, before you start your debt free journey. And we'll also link it here as well. Also, we talk about make sure you're creating um, your debt payoff plan. And then I think one of the key thing is to figure out what is causing you to spend. Hmm, right? You got to think about that. So it's like, you know, did you have an emergency that you really, you know, could not help? Um, you know, maybe you got really sick um, and you weren't able to pay your bills and you had to, you know, live off credit cards until you get back on your feet. Or was it that you're just trying to keep up with the Jones? Is it that? Did you create a lifestyle for yourself that you can't really keep up with? And then you're using credit card as a way to help maintain that? You know, you have to really sit down and figure out what is causing um, you to spend the way that you're spending. So just definitely um, think about those. And, you know, as I said, guys, make sure that you are tracking your progress in between. And another thing that you might have to address is your income. So just think about your income. Um, what your income is at this point, what your total debt is. If your income is 10,000 or 20 or 30,000 and you owe 200,000, you might have to either think about picking up more hours at work or getting a second job so you can have, you know, as Dave Ramsey like to say, a bigger shovel so you can start throwing at that debt. So I just wanna say thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys for staying on track with me. This is helping me also to be accountable um, by listing out everything and to know what I'm working towards and just to stay on track. So thank you guys so much. Of course, you know, if you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, you comment, tell your friends about it, um, and subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thank you. See you guys next time.